like the grant is actually a free money for you to travel okay. to go experience these communities etc and uh, guess where it is happening at today i have with me a gentleman who will be talking about himself how to be part of tech communities the opportunities you gain and how to travel outside the country to participate in these tech communities we also have an exclusive announcement to give to you stay tuned to the end of the video watch everything to understand how and when to apply to participate in these tech communities welcome to google tech if today is your first time here please don't forget to hit on the subscribe button and the notification icon below yeah can you tell us a little bit about yourself oh yeah charlie thanks for having me yeah, sure. yeah so uh, my name is noah Lowe, as he mentioned earlier on uh, i'm a software engineer i work with mary good and co a fintech company in the us um if i'm not coding what do i do i feel a lot actually so uh, if i'm not busy coding then i'm kind of creating some fun moment with friends or myself yeah Okay, someone may ask where is Noah from? Like, okay, so I'm from Abo, uh, and then I went to Kumasi Technical University where I, I did study computer science. So basically, that is the end of the journey in, in terms of uh, education. Yeah, Abo to Kumasi. Yeah. Wow, that is really great. I thought most of the material there, if it's not from uh, Volta to Accra, and then Volta to Kikos, are you there to Kumasi? Oh yeah, yeah Kumasi Street. Oh. I decided to you know leave Volta. So how, how did your tech journey begin? Uh yeah. So growing up, I've been a curious type. I've been you know destroying a lot of uh, gadgets. Mm. Actually, there was a, a time that my brother was having a best of machine, mm. and then my siblings have been playing. I've been playing um, old Russian, so I kind of like, oh, what? This is really fascinating. I'm just curious to see how all these things. When you press a key and then something happened, I was like, mm, maybe I could actually create something. So I decided to, you know, assist myself with people who are in the uh, field. I know a couple of. Uh, family at friends. At, at which stage was that? I was in my teens, not 13, I think, uh, yeah, 10 there about. Then you were in primary <laughs> by then? Oh, yeah, yeah, I was in primary oh. then. So my mom actually connected me to the family friend who is also studying because, like, I have no knowledge about what is happening. And I was like, oh, this is something that I'm interested in. Like, oh, yeah, you should try this and introduce me to some programming languages and stuff. So my first encounter with code was Visual Basic actually. Wow. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah I studied that when I was in university. Oh cool. <laughs> I was doing that in when So I was what do you study in your university? Yeah, yeah computer yeah. science. What about senior high? Senior high school. I did technical. So oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, the funny thing was, uh, you know, growing up I actually wanted to go to a boys' school and my mom is uh a type of person who never allow me to go to boys school, you know, the perception that boys school they, they are monsters. <laughs> yeah, so when I uh, my first choice picked me, uh, that, that is guitar school, I actually applied to so guitar school, I wasn't actually planning on going there, mm -hmm. and then the course I selected was agriculture. Oh. And then I was like, oh no, I don't want to go to guitar school, I want to go to like the boys school. My mom was like, no, you're not the one going to pay the school fees. So we go to guitar school and when we went there i have to change my course to technical because like mm -hmm. i have some uh, hands-on uh, skills over there that is a really tough journey like mm, i know most <laughs> of these people who become software engineers go to either go and do science mm -hmm. or something related to science in investing uh, senior high school, school. yours was okay We've been seeing you in most of these uh, tech developers group, like you giving talks and those things. How did you find your way there? I've always have this, you know, uh, interest in uh, belonging to community. And like I said, my, my journey started, you know, affiliating with people, learning from people. And uh, I believe that having a community where you can learn from each other is uh, one of the uh, best way to learn. So there are a couple of them, you just have to, you know, look online and see which community that you want to belong to and any of them that align to your desire. So for me, I was looking for communities that is for the uh, programming side. So uh, you see me in the Python, uh, Python community, Django, uh, Ruby on Rails. Uh, go so yeah so I'm actually you know everywhere and it's not necessarily have to be in like maybe that is the you 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 have you, you do Python that it means that you have to restrict yourself in 
tell the Python community. You, you can learn from it. almost everyone in any of these communities. Yeah. Sure. So how can one be part of those communities? Yeah, so there are lots of communities actually in Ghana and all over the world. When we talk about communities in Ghana, uh, if you are a lady, you can look at PyLadies, uh, Python Ghana. We have developers in work. Uh, we have Dev Congress. So all these communities are, you know, they have their arms open for everyone to join them. All you have to do is to either go on their social media platform. They have uh, Slack uh, channels, they have Telegram groups, or obviously their website. And uh, some of them have registration, like you have to undergo a couple of registrations to belong to that particular community. Through that, they share a couple of opportunities and other amazing stuff, jobs, etc. If you are looking at the international uh, communities, uh, you can actually write to them that I'm in the, one of the communities here in Ghana, but then I also want to, you know, extend my helping hand to uh, the communities in the uh, other countries okay. as well. Yeah. Okay. So is that how you got to Dubai? Because I see you as a keynote speaker in one of the Django communities in the US also. For the US event, I wasn't a keynote. I'm actually a volunteer. So the Django community, I'm one of the individual members. Uh, from Ghana. In Ghana, we have two of us, uh, either three or two, as an individual member of the Django Software Foundation. I volunteer with the community in the US to uh, help organize the Django Congress. So there were a couple of them that have to visit the US, and then, like, due to some visa related issues, I couldn't make those travels. Uh, but then I, 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 I did, you know, talk about communities here in Africa, a couple of them. Can one be part of those communities in outside the country without being, uh, being part of the local ones? Like, I want to join Django US, but mm -hmm. I, I haven't connected to uh, maybe a Python user group here. Yeah, I'm not part of them. I don't do anything with them, but I want to be part of Django US or Python US. Yeah. Is it possible? Oh, yeah. So, one beautiful thing about the Python Django community is we are very welcoming. We don't care about your background if you are, uh, you know, writing. PhD, you are, or whatever. Once you're interested in you know, contributing any, in, in any way to the community, we are welcome. We have people who uh, they have nothing to do with Python, but then like they they were able to hear a couple of our uh, or chair a couple of our conferences. So the community is wide open to anyone who is willing. But then one of the things is to uh, abide with the community guidelines or the code of conduct that uh, has been laid down for you to follow. Um, so basically, yes, anyone can belong to any of those communities. So anyone can belong to any of the communities yes, without outside. me providing anything or no going through any technical coding. No, 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 no. So when it comes to communities, okay, there are several ways that you can belong to a community or well, so you can just take it as an open source. So the Django, um, Django is a framework mm -hmm. and then it has communities. So we have uh Django Con US, Django Con Europe and we also have Django Con Africa of which we are going to uh organize the very first Django Con in Africa this year. Don't worry, keep watching. I'll give you where this is actually uh, exclusive. Ex exclusive. I think you hear this from uh Kutek <laughs> actually. Yeah so there are several ways that you can contribute. People are good at designing, people are good at you know drafting proposal, people are good at contributing course, people are good at organizing people uh, so there are like several ways that you can help a community grow it doesn't necessarily have to be a uh, code contribution so these communities are tied to this framework or languages okay. so in any way that you can give back to the community yeah, actually you necessarily have to be a programmer before you no, no 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 there are a couple of people that you know contribute to these communities they don't have any knowledge in programming and let's switch from that and come to your personal life. Okay. Like, there are many opportunities in Accra, right? Mm -hmm. And most of these software in the companies are based in Accra. Why did you choose to be in Kumasi? <laughs> yeah, that's a very good question. Yes, I had a couple of opportunities to move to Accra. Uh, when I came to school here, I uh, kind of, you know, like the place and, you know, immense myself with the indigenous. And uh, uh, I really like everything here. Uh, but then aside that, I think overall Kumasi is, you know, the second second biggest city in Ghana. Yeah. So I, I don't have issue, you know, living in Accra. But then I think Kumasi is also uh, one of the best places to be in Ghana. So in, in, in one way, how would you describe the uh, community here? 
Yes, so you know everything has been positioned in uh, Accra uh, and like Kumasi. Kumasi is still catching up when it comes to tech. We have a couple of you know uh, hubs that are you know trying to push tech over here. You know Kumasi is like uh, a business a business yeah. region. Uh, they are more focusing on this, you know, selling and all of that stuff, not tech, 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 tech related stuff. And like Accra, all this majority of companies even have their head office station. Uh, but then I think uh, Kumasi is really catching up now. And uh, it's all boils down to the individuals to actually make something, you know, happen. So yeah, the tech, tech space is actually catching up. One way for someone who is, uh, who wants to get into uh, this tech or into programming? Uh, yeah, so my advice for people who want to <laughs> enter the world of tech like, Yeah, so I know a lot of you want to, you know, venture into tech You've heard about it paying a lot and all of that stuff But if you have the, the mindset of the pay before entering, I don't think you'll be able to excel in the food So one is to focus on, you know, honing your skills, making sure that you have a very good skill that people will be willing to pay for that skill so first learn the skill second then you you know how to brand yourself and you know get uh, the, the gig so if you are looking at entering the space learn the skill really well and also don't go out there and say oh man tell me i want to then two days then you disappear if you really mean it you have to sit your ass down you have to dedicate be curious and be hungry for more and the field is not like oh once i'm a you know software engineer senior or whatever it uh, means i will automatically put all the coding knowledge in your in your in your mind you have to actually make an effort and then if you encounter issue then you can you know probe your uh, mentor to you know actually guide you okay you have to learn everything by yourself it's not all about your mentors so how can one apply to be part of this event uh all these events have uh, opportunity grants that you can you know apply for to attend their conferences so jangocon us currently have opportunity grants open uh jangocon africa will follow suit once we uh, make the public announcement pycon us pycon namibia python ghana uh, pycon ghana all the pycons or any tech related event uh, you can actually go onto their, their website and check if they have an opportunity grant. Even if they don't have, you can check their social media channel to where well, they actually create those announcements where you can just click on and fill the form. So once you fill the form, give them your itinerary and the amount of money you need and uh, they should be able to help you with that. Like the grant is actually a free money for you to travel, to go experience these communities, etc. So I believe you can leverage on that. It's all about making a good case why you should be selected and why you should attend these conferences and that should, should be cool. Uh, regarding the Django Con, Con Africa. Africa. Yes, yeah. so like I said, it's the very first Django Con in Africa. We actually have been planning this for a very long time. And uh, guess where it is happening at? Tanzania, Zanzibar to be precise. And this is going to be on November 6th to 11th. It's going to be a week long, long uh, conference. So get yourself ready. If you really want to talk, if you really want to host a, a workshop, you are invited. Look for that announcement and apply. And uh, I think there will be a scholarship for speakers as well. And also we want more Africans to apply for this conference. So be on the lookout. And you get this from Quick Tech. <laughs> this is the first time you are hearing this. Yes. Please don't forget to subscribe. I will also try to see if I can attend. Okay. Ali, the money. <laughs> Ali, you will sponsor me. <laughs> don't worry, let's see what happens. Your social media handle. Yeah, so everywhere in Walogu. Uh, except TikTok. <laughs> yeah, the TikTok. <laughs> yeah, the TikTok is uh, Afo Voku. Uh, so <laughs> don't ask me to be near Afo Voku. Uh, but then, yeah, uh, my nickname is at Plasma Dre. So you can either search me by at Plasma Dre or Noalo. You should be able to find me on all social media uh, channels. Yeah. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and stay tuned. Yes. Peace. Peace.